moved to Destin in 1988. Uh, we, we met in college in what, 1985. Mm -hmm. um, had our first date at this small Italian restaurant in Little Rock, Arkansas called Graffiti. And when we moved here, uh, my passion was to open a restaurant. And after seven and a half years of a furniture business, I decided, you know, she saw one ad and this was a tapazan, an Egyptian restaurant. And she called and next thing you know, we're in the restaurant business. Uh, that's what, 16 years ago, 1995? Mm -hmm. So, and uh, now we have two. <laughs> The concept of graffiti came together um, from the first date, the restaurant that we went to, and also from the fact that I'm an artist. I had an art gallery years ago, and uh, it just grew from there. We had art um, that we had to somewhat borrow when we opened up the restaurant. We didn't have enough artwork on Couldn't the walls. Couldn't get her to paint fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Anyway, we, it, it started selling from that point and we really weren't expecting that. So it's just, it's, it's grown from that point, so. Well, a lot of what you see here is from Butch Anthony. You know, he, out of Seal, Alabama, I ripped down a barn that was built in 1929 for the, for the walls on the bar. Um, and, I, and he supplied me with all the O10. So we just got a lot of history in the Funky Blue Shack. Well, we like to travel a lot, and you know, last year when I was in Zion National Park, I, I enjoyed this wild buffalo meatloaf that I went to have three times in one week. So I said, you know what, that's great. So I put that on the menu in the past couple weeks, and our menu's constantly gonna transform. Uh, you know, take the slow sellers, move them off, and try something new. Try to keep the kitchen crew challenged as to go. The Funky Blue Shack actually started um, about five years after the restaurant. What happened was, you know, we would go on a wait and we would put people outside and then they would disappear. We'd lose them on a wait because it'd be so hot out there. After that point, the, you know, the, this was a laundromat. I said, you know, the laundromat was closing. I said, oh, what a good way to retain the customers. So we built this music venue and it's a lot of New Orleans influence here. We like a lot of horns, we, you know, plus a lot of old blues. Brian Lee's one of our big, you know, that we would repeat. Uh, a Bourbon Street original and you know just whatever whatever we can find um, and just fresh local yeah too. a lot of a lot local, local Dread Clampett was our house mm -hmm. band when we first opened mm -hmm. uh, and you know we just whoever we can get whoever wants to play we'll book. Mm -hmm.